have been protesting the Dean of Cornell Medical College, Lori Glimpscher, because she is a member of the board of the New York Blood Center, which abandoned 66 chimps in Liberia. Dr. Glimpscher, or her advisors, instructed Cornell's faculty, staff, and students to ignore us. If no one is going to engage with us, then we have no reason to be polite. On the contrary, we will become increasingly loud, disruptive, and intrusive within the law until Lori Glimpscher and the New York Blood Center reinstate funding for the chimps who they left to die after earning $500 million in royalties off the research and promising to provide them with lifelong care. People are coming out of the building with handouts which clearly attempt to exonerate Lori Glimpscher from her role in abandoning these chimpanzees. Do you see how they've been told not to react in any way? Lori Glimpscher does not want people to take this hand out and read about what she's done. The students and faculty have made it clear that they don't want to be filmed, which is why we're going to continue to go back week after week and film them. And you're worried about the way you look on TV? We are on a public screen. Public screen. I'm so glad you're escalating this, ma'am. Take it to the next level. She actually has a very nice hair. She doesn't want to hear me. She does not want to hear me. We know you're not interested, but the chips are starving, ma'am. How could you show so little compassion? How could you say you're not interested in the starvation of 66 chimps? Why don't you just take a flyer? Why is it close minded? Why are you close minded? I'm not bothering you. Yes, you need to be compassionate. What are you, an automaton? Can you think for yourself? Imagine their agony, sir.
coming back until Lori Glimpshire reinstates the funds for these chimpanzees.